Hi YouTube. Okay, we're gonna do the How We Met tag. Um, this is my fiance Quinn, and Hello. our wedding is in two weeks. So we thought that we should probably tell you how we met first before our wedding video. So do you want to go first? Sure, I'll go first. Okay. Uh, we met in ninth grade in our high school. We went to the same high school, and I thought she was such a cutie pie. We were a, in a group of friends, and I was introduced by my friend. We switched classes. That's how we got into the same class, and uh, that's where our friendship first started. Okay. My version is this. We did not meet in ninth grade. Okay? We met in, like... Oh, actually, we did. We met We met in ninth grade. Sorry! Yeah. We just did this whole thing with the marriage counselor, and <laughs> it was wrong then, too. Okay. Yes, we did meet in ninth grade, but we didn't start dating until tenth grade. But in ninth grade, yeah, that's how it happened, was his friend was friends with me and my friends, and I guess he didn't want to be the only boy in the group, so... He transferred this one in to our class, and then we all just kind of like made a little three musketeers group. There was four of us, so I guess four musketeers. And let's see, actually, he was really mean to me at first, and I will tell everybody because that's true. He was really mean to me and would not talk to me like for the first semester of school, like not at all. So I really thought that he just like hated me, and then. Like, in 10th grade, I guess, he started actually being nice to me and, like, liking me and thinking I was pretty sweet. So, that was, I guess, how we met. Do you want to tell him how you asked me out? I can tell him, but I'll, I'll I tell think him. you should tell him because then I'll correct you. Okay. Well, here's what happened. As I told you, he did not talk to me at all for, like, all of 9th grade, pretty much. Or, if he did talk to me, he was always, like, making fun of me, teasing me, saying I had fat fingers, which I don't. Yes, he did. He said that all the time. It made me cry. She's crazy. And at the time, I was only 14. I was the youngest one in the group anyway. But still, he would pick on me the most. I'm only five months older than you. I was 14, though. I was 15. Yeah, so you shouldn't pick on somebody younger than you. Anyway, so then, what else happened? So he wasn't talking to me, as I said. And he was always being mean to me. But then, in 10th grade, I started dating this junior guy. I thought I was the coolest girl in the world because I was dating a junior and then he just completely broke my heart, like, horrible, no filter, no nothing, just flat on my face, killed me. And then I was crying, and I was all sad, and I never cry. I, I never cry in school, anyway. And so, but that day, I was crying in school, like, heartbroken, straight teenage heartbrokenness. And I was crying because I was just so hurt, and my friend was like, it was, Caitlin told you, didn't you? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I was in student government, and we were all, all four of us were in student government, and I had my head down, and I was crying, because I was just so heartbroken, and then my friend that was in our little group was like, hug her, hug her, like, trying to say, like, I wouldn't hear her. I did, but either way, I just didn't even care, like, I didn't care, I, I would just, no. And then all of a sudden, like, I get, like, cold cocked in the side of my head, just like, boom, like, the hardest hit I ever had from a man in okay. my life. It is true. Untrue. I had my head down like this, and then he went to hug me. I guess he's like, boom, like, this hit me across the head. And I'm like, ow. So now my heart is broken, and I think I have a concussion. And so then he hugs me, so I guess that's, like, his way of being, like, oh, trying to be nice to me. And I'm like, you never hug me. What in the world? Don't try to be nice now. And then, for some reason, after that, he started being nicer to me, nicer to me. We started kind of flirting and hanging out more and more. And I'm like, I think he likes me. And I started liking him a lot. And I told my friend, I was like, I like him. You should, you should, I like him. And and then we, like, talk about him every night at our little sleepover and all this crap. Oh, my gosh, it was ridiculous. And, but then, this kid here would not ask me out for nothing. Like, making out everything, but never would ask me out. And I was, like, getting tired of waiting. Like, I am 15. I have things to do. Okay, I have important places to go. I had important things to do. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> I was. I told my. I told my friend. I'm like, look, either he's gonna ask me out by the end of the day, or I'm gonna go out with this other boy because I had a whole bunch of suitors who wanted to be with me. And I was like, if he doesn't ask me, we are. I'm done. I'm just done. I'm not gonna waste any more of my precious teenage years on this kid. 
So I wait and like first period, nothing. Second period, nothing. He wasn't even like talking to me that day at all, nothing. And then our one friend in our group, his friend, sits there and like takes him to go have a man talk during lunch. He's like, come on, Quinn, I have to have a man talk with you. Swear to God, like that's exactly what he said. I'm like, give me a break. And so they go to their, I don't even know where they went to the day, probably to the boys' bathroom or some crap. And so I'm thinking, okay, for sure he's going to ask me as soon as they come back out. I'm sitting there, I'm all nervous, and nothing. Nothing. Lunch goes by, six, what, six period, seven period goes by, eighth period goes by, and now it's time to go home. I'm like, you know what? Okay, whatever. Like I said, we're done. So I get my little book bag. I'm going to the bus. I'm about to go home. And I'm going to go start dating this guy, right? This other guy. Thank God I did not date him. Oh, my goodness. He's like 28 with no job. Like, <laughs> glad I did not do that. But either way, so I'm going down my steps all mad, kind of, because I thought that he was really going to ask me out. And then guess who comes tromping down the stairs but this dude here. Red as anything in the world. I will never let this go. He was redder than anything. Redder than a beat. He was red. <laughs> and he stopped me like, wait. I'm like, what? What do you want? Because I was mad that he waited that long. And I was just sure he wasn't even going to, I don't know what I thought he was going to say. And I'm like, what? He's like, mad face. And he goes, will you be my girlfriend? Like, he didn't even say it in a nice way. He wasn't even looking at me, nothing. He just said it in the most, like, quick way he could possibly say it. Of course I say yes, because that's what I was waiting for all day. I really did not want to go out. Yes. Because I did not want to go out with the other boy anyway. I just was tired of being led around for no reason. So then I said yes, and then we started dating. And then pretty much been all downhill from there. And now look at us. Old, with no hope in the world. On YouTube. On YouTube, but no hope in the world, just old. She was in my story so much better. It was the same thing, only about 5,000 sentences less. He didn't even tell you that part, so... I said most of it. No, you didn't. I'm clearly a better storyteller. I'm the best storyteller. So, yeah, that was how we met and how we started dating. As always, I had to pressure him. But it all turned out for the best because I got the ring. And now in two weeks, I'll be missing... Okay, so that was the end of it. I guess this video was shorter than I thought. I thought it was going to be way longer. Way longer than what it was. Get off of me. <laughs> no. Get off of me. But bye, YouTube. Hope you liked it. Goodbye.